Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from CloudTech. Today I will talk about if you would like to integrate AWS with your IntelliJ ID like PyCharm or maybe IntelliJ ID Java version, then how we can integrate. What basically intent of this like if you want to run your uh, like uh, some uh, kind of program like AWS program or if you want to create some uh, some of the programmatic thing uh, in your local like in any ID like IntelliJ ID then how we can uh, configure that and how we can access those AWS console that part I am going to ex explain today in this session okay guys so for that what basically we need like we need one user which user should have that programmatic access and to make sure that user whatever programmatic thing you are doing th through your IntelliJ ID and that just to validate then give that part, uh, that uh, console AWS console access also so that you can check in AWS console also suppose in uh, IntelliJ ID by programmatically you created one bucket or you created one lambda function or you created a serverless architecture serverless ap application then that thing you can validate through AWS console also so that while you are creating the user just keep in mind you give the both the access one is the programmatical access and another is the AWS console access and we are going to install that IntelliJ ID like either PyCharm or maybe IntelliJ ID for Java okay guys so how we can create a IAM user and we can give that access let me show you that quickly I have already user so I am not going to create one more just I will show you like how we can create so this is my IAM section and click on user and let's click on create user and here we have that option to provide that uh, uh, that uh, access AWS manage console access right this is totally optional if you want you can give on top of that uh, by programmatically if you want to do git commit or uh, uh, some other programmatic thing like git related stuff then we have to give any uh, that git related specific permission for that particular user okay let me show you that how we can give that quickly so let's go to the user and go to the security and credential and if you go little bit down here SSH for public git commit uh, this is the part we need to enable either okay guys or maybe HTTP also we can generate okay I have already one so uh, this is my active in my last video I have already demonstrated about this if you want you can uh, check it out that video also I will give that link to this video description okay guys so now let's move on to the today agenda so our user is ready so what we need we need to install that PyCharm so let's install that so I am going to install the PyCharm IntelliJ ID here for this today's demo or if you want you can install that IntelliJ ID also as per your requirement you can select that this is for Java and PyCharm is the for Python in my next subsequent video I will talk about serverless application how we can create a locally and how we can run that application and how we can deploy that application to the AWS so for, for that we are going to use this PyCharm only so let's just download this PyCharm in our local this is the Windows version I am going to download okay guys let's download that exe version okay so dot exe so it will take some time to download it is in progress okay guys so guys our download is completed so let's install this uh, pycharm in our local okay just uh, click on that click yes go to the next just install next it will take some time we can pause this video and we'll come back okay guys it's our installation almost done just for a second just wait for two or three seconds it will be complete okay you want you can see the details also what it is happening here okay now if you want you can run that price charm also just select the checkbox and finish it so let's click on ok now let's start the free tires only 30 days okay and let's allow everything Now once you install right and here the top uh, like bottom left corner right you can see one settings and here we have one option like all different kind of option 
and also we have a, one more option is a plugin right once you click on plugin right just click on this or maybe you, uh, either from here you can get the plugin or if, suppose you are in the project and you have already created the project suppose i gave some project here okay let's create this project some sample project here python project basically and here by default it is creating that virtual environment also in my maybe subsequent video i will talk about python how we can create a virtual environment all these things guys okay so just wait for some time so it is doing all this thing and in the right side top uh, like here we have settings option if you go here and then we can see the plugin okay just click here and before that let me confirm one thing here we have only this uh, three dot icon and settings these are the option but here we don't have any aws okay so let's install the aws toolkit here how we can do go to the plugin and select the market here either in install or maybe marketplace let's go to the marketplace Now see guys our installation is completed so just click on ok and click on apply once you click on apply and ok right you can see here aws uh, that icon is came right if you just click here then we can select here uh, like uh, what profile you are going to access we have like currently two profile i will show you like already since i have already configured in this machine aws uh, that uh, cons config right cli that's why I can able to see and it will by default which all uh, uh, like uh, system or AWS account we have configured those will take it okay then how we can configure that that part I also I will show you and here is the region which region and you can select all region also and go to the developers tools and go to the explorer you can see here so here like S3 you can see which all bucket we have here let me show you that and if you go to the cloudwatch log also you can explore if you go here cloudwatch and here we can check that rds matrix also and if you want you can check the messages also like uh, hot all error message and uh, we can explore that uh, this uh, cloudwatch log also okay guys and if we want uh, we can uh, go to the ecr lambda all these things okay and these are the s3 bucket we have if you click on just want to see the what all object is there inside the bucket you just go to here and if you would like to download any specific thing just select this one and this is the download button which one this is the download button this is the upload if you want to upload anything you can upload here also and if you want to download just select this one and then click on download we can download in our local also okay guys and if you want to uh, delete any specific thing you can delete also just see here this is the delete option if you want to delete any object from this bucket you can delete also if you want to refresh you can refresh also and if you want to create a bucket also you can create this is the create bucket okay guys and if you want to delete the bucket that also possible just delete this bucket okay guys how we can delete let me show you otherwise just delete this if you want we can delete also cloud tech pycham if you want to delete then it will ask you like uh, what exact this same text we have to type here and then click on ok ok guys so now this bucket is deleted this bucket is deleted if you go to aws console also you can see here the new bucket is there let's go to here see now we have two bucket if you want to just uh, make sure again two bucket right now let's uh, delete this one also let me show you that so this is deleted now let's go to the aws console again just refresh this now we have only single bucket okay guys now if you want to kind of, suppose this is uh, you don't have the aws cli configure right in your machine then how we can configure right so that part how we can do let me show you that so let's go to here
all credential and this edit credential right if you click here then you can see the credential file here and currently i have two account cloud tech and cloud tech demo two profile and here is the access key and secret key these two things we need to give here right once you give this then it will automatically configure like if i let me show you that if i just uh, click this thing and just add one more suppose demo one okay and just save it then it will come here let me show you that we have demo one you can see that if you want to switch you can switch also since both are having same account there so you can see same thing here also okay guys this is how we, if you want we can modify also okay so i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable then i will request you guys please subscribe my channel and share surrounding with your friend that will really inspire to me and that will really help to me and in my next subsequent video, I will come up with AWS serverless application, how we can create through this PyCharm and then how we can deploy and run. Okay guys, see you in my next video. Chalo, bye.